What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Spaceballs here. And today we're playing Calibria Crystal Guardians. And today we're playing on Sylvia's account. And we're doing an uh, account review for him. And for us as well. Because this guy is amazing. And this guy has progressed in one week. Amazing progression without spending a penny. And I will show you here in his shop that he has not spent a dollar. He has not spent anything on the game. All of the packs are still here as you can see. The guy has not spent anything, and the progression that he has made in a in a week is it's it's really incredible. It is absolutely incredible that he's progressed this much in uh, one week. So I wanted to grab his account, and I wanted to play on his account with you guys to show you guys that it is possible to to progress the way that he progresses without spending absolutely zero dollars. He has spent no money on this account. I am actually going to do something special for him, and I'm going to buy him one of the um, special packs when the uh, video is over. Um, I'm not sure if I could do it here. I'll probably have to end the video, buy it, and then I'll show you guys that I bought it for him. Um, but just, i was been playing his account for like the past half an hour. It actually took us a long time to get it together because Google has like this weird thing now where you try to sign into somebody's account and you can't sign into the account. Because you need like um, like proof of this, and because you got to sign in from a certain device and all this stuff, so it happened to be his old device. So it just took us a while to get it to get it going, but we're here now and we got it going now. So I want to reward him for that. He supports me, so I want to support him back. So since he let us play on his account, I'm gonna do something special for him. But we'll get to that at the end of the video. But for now, we're gonna go through the champions that he has. Remember, this guy's um, I think eight eight or nine days playing. Um, and the only thing he spent money on is the times two growth plan. He spent the five dollars um, leveling up the growth plan, and the only thing he's been doing for the week is is just leveling his growth plan. He has spent no other money in the game. I have checked his other account. He has his second account. Well, it's actually his first account. This is his second account, so that's how I know that he's only been playing this account for a week because he had just started this account on the S two server, and his regular account is on the worldwide server. So that's how we know that this is real and this is not just him saying that he has been playing for a week when he's been playing for a month because I checked it myself so I know that he's not you know, making this up. He's only been playing this account for I think eight to nine days or something along those lines but no longer than a week and a half. So we will go through his champions here. Now all his runes are campaign runes. He's got a few I think from because I was looking through them. He's got a few from uh, B10 because he's been hitting B10 now. But most of these runes are campaign farmed runes. So it's just, I want to, the reason I really want to show you this guy's account is because it just proves that you guys, you know, you don't need to go crazy and buy rune packs and do all these things. It actually, all it really takes is time. As long as you're willing to put the time into the game, you guys can have the same kind of progression without spending any money at all. And this account just proves that in tenfold. So here's his uh, Mushi. That's actually funny that he has a Mushi because I just pulled Mushi. You guys know that. Um, some of these runes aren't leveled up. I don't even think he's really using this guy right now. But he's got a good start on him. I would change this to um, probably uh, crit damage because he's got the his uh, third skill. I'll show you here. It scales with uh, speed. So if you can get him up to like 90 speed, that's an extra 30 crit rate. And then if you use him with Windwalker, that's another extra 30 um, speed. So it's actually 40 crit rate plus his thing. So that's like 60 crit rate right there. So you're probably better off running, um, instead of an attack rune, you're probably better off running a crit damage rune, just so you know that. Um, let's look at his droid. He's got slot one. He's got speed, attack, resistance, crit damage. Good enough. You know, I'm not saying it's the best rune. But for where he is and for the fact that it's campaign runes, the rune is good enough and it does exactly what it needs to do on the droid. Slot 2, he's got defense. Now, I'm not sure if I'd run defense. Um, I think he's doing it because you want your, dro your druid to be the slowest on the team. So for in this case, with him, it's okay because you want him to be the slowest. So that you can run defense on his slot 2. It's not a problem as long as he's around like the 30-40 speed area. Because you want to make sure that he's taking a turn before the enemies and before the boss. His slot 3, he's got speed, crit rate, crit damage, hit percentage. That's perfect for him. Not too bad. You don't really want crit rate or crit damage on the Druid, but I'm sure he's just using whatever he can because, again, these are campaign runes. So he's probably just using the 5-star runes, especially when it comes to the slot 4 and the slot 6. So he's got HP percentage, uh, crit rate, resistance, defense, and attack. This is almost perfect, this rune here. 
And then here he's got resistance, attack, defense, and attack. And then on his slot 6, again, he's got HP, speed, crit damage, and attack. The speed is probably the best thing on this rune, but the fact that it is hit percentage, it makes it okay to use it because it's hit percentage. Excuse me. So it's okay to use it because, it, I mean, not hit percentage, because it's HP percentage. And early game, you want you want to make sure you're using percentages. Even though you can't get flat stats, it's still kind of hard to get a 5-star HP rune. So he did a very good job ruining him. Same thing with the Windwalker. Um, very fast. He's actually the same speed as mine right now, and these guys only been playing a week. I've been playing three weeks, and he's using campaign runes, and I'm using C, uh, C7 runes. So that just shows you that you can use campaign runes and you know still run the same dungeons that everybody else is running. We'll quickly go through the runes here. He's got speed. He's got HP, attack, defense. HP again, percentage, resistance, crit rate, crit damage, defense. I'm sure he's just using this for the HP percentage again. Uh, here he's got speed. You always want speed on your Windwalker. Attack, defense, HP. All the stats fit her fine. Same thing here. HP, and it's a 5-star. Then he's got crit rate, attack, defense, and crit damage. And, and guys, I'm mostly going over his uh, C10 team because that's what we're going to be showing you today. Um, that he's running C10 one week into the game, only grinding the growth plan. Absolutely doing nothing else. He's only been grinding the growth plan. He spent no money, as I showed you guys in the shop. He was lucky enough to pull the cheat code Popo. I consider this guy a cheat code. This guy is amazing. He does everything. He's If you have him, he's going to pretty much carry you through the entire game because this guy is just... Popo, I, I feel like, is probably either, I would say, top three in the entire game. I don't have all the legendaries yet, so I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that he is at least top three in the game. He's not using Fallen Angel, so he's not ranged. He's not ranged. He's not ruined. So he's also got his two Abyss Lords. This is going to turn into his speed team which he's probably waiting to get better runes from c10 and then i'm sure he's going to ruin these two guys up and he's going to put them on a speed team because if you run two of these guys with the mummy you're going to destroy c10 like it's nothing so that's why he's building these two because these are going to be part of his speed team he's using he's not using spider queen either he i'm going to show you he's using the mummy so we'll go over the mummy He's got HP percentage. You see how tanky he's building these guys, right? He's building them super tanky so the boss can hit him. And it doesn't matter because he's so tanky that he's going to be able to take enough turns and put up enough poisons that it's not going to matter that he's not, you know, fast. That he's not super fast because he's so tanky. And that's why he's ruining um, HP and defense on slot two. So that I completely understand early game. Sometimes I know I love my speed. Spaceball loves his speed. But it also sometimes in some cases it is okay to go super tanky as long as you're synergizing the entire team that way. And which he is doing. He's making his whole team tanky. He's not just making one person slow and tanky. He's making his entire team slow and tanky. Uh, here we got uh, attack, hit percentage, defense, and speed. That's perfect for him. He's got uh, HP, hit percentage, attack, crit rate, and speed. Again, perfect for him. Here he's got HP, attack, uh, resistance. I'm not sure what the hit percentage is, what his full hit percentage is on him. Yeah, he's got 62%, so he's it's okay for him to run HP on slot 6 because he's got him, he's got him almost 100% hit percentage so you want to make sure your mummy is always over 80 percent hit percentage because you're using him for poisons mostly so you definitely definitely want to make sure that he's always over 80 percent hit percentage and i think that's all he's using for for c10 again you guys can look at his account all he's been doing as he told me is he's just grinding one stars and two stars to finish his growth plan so most of his grind is in c is now in c10 and now in the campaign to finish the growth plan because the more growth plan he does, the more he can grow without spending any money except for the $5 on the growth plan. So let's get into a C10 run, guys, so I can sh show you guys what's going on here. This is the team we're running. I ran it a few times before I got on video to just test it out, make sure everything's working. I'm not sure if we went over uh, uh, right or not. Wyatt, I guess her name is Wyatt. We'll go over her real quick. Uh, he's Again, he's got a super tanky. He's got defense. Now, remember, the, you know, most of his champions are super slow, but he's still got them around the 140 area. So as long as you have them around that 135, 140 area, you're going to take the first turn, so it's okay. It's not a speed team. By no means is this a speed team. This is definitely not a speed team. This is a tanky, bruiser, poison, bleed team. So it's okay not to run 200 plus speed because he's running them super, super tanky. Again, defense uh, slot six, HP slot four. See, you see, you see the synergy here, right? Every single 
every single monster he's using is defense hp defense or defense hp defense whatever but it's all the slot two four and six or hp or defense so that is making him super tanky now i haven't failed with this team yet he told me that the, the team does fail he said it's about a 90 percent i've ran it about i would say about 15 to 20 times before i started recording and i haven't seen it fail yet i mean we'll see what happens now but as i said i haven't personally seen it fail yet he was being honest and he said you know look it's pretty reliable but it's like 90 percent for me i've been running it i ran it probably like i said about 20 to 30 times and i haven't seen it fail once yet so for me it's almost 100 percent reliable at this point i mean the thing about it is rng is a funny thing with RNG, you never know what you're going to get sometimes. So, I mean, you know, you could do 100 runs in a row and them all be great. And then all of a sudden do one run and fail just because of the way the RNG is in the Giant. Now, I'm not sure if uh, if Wyatt has um, attack down. Yeah, what his a Wyatt. So, his Wyatt is his attack down. And his mummy is his poison. The droid is the cleanse, the defense buff, and the counterattack. And his popo is um, bleeds. So you see, he fits everything he needs in this team. The team has everything, and this team is pretty much free to play, guys. Look at the team. You can easily change out popo for any other three-star bleeder. I mean, uh, the ripper. He, I know he's an LD, but they have the ripper. He's a bleeder. I know there's another three-star bleeder out there as well. So you can easily change popo for another bleeder, and this team is totally free to play, guys. Look at it. I mean, he's got three three stars one four star and one five star so he can easily change this popo out for any other bleeder and the team would do exactly the same thing it's doing now so that's what makes this so amazing and that's why i wanted to to, to show you guys his account because it really just takes knowledge sometimes and you see it for yourself guys like i'm not saying it's the fastest team in the world but he is clearing c10 in in eight days guys eight days he's clearing c10 with campaign runes you know i was like i was amazed by it. when i ran this team for the first time i was i actually looked at it and i was i was actually amazed because you know me i'm 21 days in and i'm using a couple five stars and and i mean i wouldn't even have i don't even have runs you know as good as this yet granted i haven't been focusing on my colossus teams and he's mostly focusing on his Colossus team but it's amazing to see it. It really is. It's it's amazing to see such a free to play team do so well. Now sometimes here the when he takes his second hit, the uh, the giant guy, he'll wipe some of them out. But usually there's enough bleeds and poisons up to finish the job. So I like I said, I haven't seen it fail yet. He said it's like ninety percent. I'm thinking it's more like 96, 97 percent myself. Like I said, look at all those bleeds. Look at all those poisons. I mean, even now when he takes the takes the hit. Popo is going to be the only one left, but the thing is, he can't take another turn because once he takes the turn, he's going to die. So, yeah, he's down to one HP in that in that situation, but ninety percent of the time, he's not going to fail. He's going to he's going to the bleeds and the poisons are going to kill him before he can get off his third hit because he's always going to take the first hit, and then he's going to take the second hit, which is a super super strong hit. Let's run it again for you guys. So then he's going to take the second hit, which is the super strong hit. So if you don't have the defense buff up or an attack buff up at the, on that second hit, it is, it's really going to hurt, guys. That's that's the whole thing with it. But if you have enough bleeds and enough poisons on the giant, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter how hard he hits you or if he kills half your team. Because once he takes that third turn, he's going to be dead anyway. So it's, it's not going to matter at that point. I'm seeing if I had a drink. But, uh, yeah, guys, I've been working on the camera situation. I, I think I got it pretty good for now. Um, I checked on the other camera. It's not going to be coming until probably next Friday, which is terrible. So I actually was looking on um, I was looking on Amazon, and I was looking at some DSL cameras. You know, they go for between three and, and uh, 600 bucks. It's not too bad. So I might just um, end up buying one of those because I feel like that's probably the best way to go. If I'm going to up my quality... I might as well go to the highest quality I possibly can instead of just buying another $100 camera that's going to end up probably being the same exact as this one. And again, it's not terrible. Like I said, it's not terrible. Sometimes I get a little green and stuff like when I wiggle my fingers. Not too bad, but I think from here we should just go up in the quality, like super up in quality, not down. 
Because I was going to get the... Because uh, I ordered the uh, C... C200? C, yeah, the C200. The, yeah, this is the C903. And I meant to order the C200. And somehow I ended up getting the, the 90E, which... I really don't like this camera at all. I really been I really just don't like it. I don't like the saturations, I don't like the colors, I don't like the way it makes me shiny in my in my face. Like it's just a very strange camera. It's like it's like my older camera actually gives a better picture than this camera, but my old camera's like really bad now, so I don't want to use that camera. But as you can see guys here, you know, again, I think this is about a two minute run. I wasn't really checking the time. But it seems it's like about a two minute run. But, you know, very impressive, very, very impressive for only eight days of grinding. I mean, I got to say, this these, this guy must have been grinding, Sylvia must have been grinding for like 20 hours a day. Because you know, like, that growth plan, I know I tried to grind like the two stars, and it was so tedious. And I only just did like one level of it, and it was tedious, guys. It was super, super tedious. So, I mean, this guy must be, I think he's on the last level of it, so he must have been hitting that growth plan super hard guys so it just shows you buy the five dollar growth the uh, five dollar two times card and you'll be in the same situation he is without spending any other money that's the only money you need to spend in this game you see he's got his tech up he's got a slow up he's got uh bleeds and he's got poison up he's got every single debuff you need in this dungeon he has on this team and this team is free to play friendly except for popo but it doesn't matter. You see, this, and the team didn't die because he had the defense buff up when he should have. So that just shows you that the team doesn't always die. It's only based on RNG. And again, Popo is the only um, pay-to-win monster in this team. And he can easily be changed out for any other poisoner or any other bleeder. So don't, you know, don't let that make you guys say, oh, well, it's not free to play because he's got Popo. That's not true because he can easily change him out for Ripper or any other, you know, bleeder or poisoner that he ends up coming across in the future. It's just, this is what he has built, so this is what I'm running. I probably could have looked through his stuff and found something else that had bleed, but I just wanted to use what he was running just to show you guys. We can actually look through the rest of his account if, see, oh, I just got him a really good rune. HP percentage, crit damage, and defense, and flat HP. Um, it's not the best rune, but the way he's running his team, this is actually a very good rune for him right now. Let's check out his arena and see what he's doing there. That's not arena. That's not arena. There's the arena. Um, Sylvia, I would definitely recommend not doing this right now. You're only a week in the game. I would definitely change this to a, to a one champion um, defense. It's definitely going to help you because you're going to be able to grind your tokens much easier. Um, I mean, it's totally up to you, but I would definitely recommend you changing this to either just like Popo or just the Spider Queen. I mean, it looks like you're running a pretty decent team. Let's check it out here. But you see, like, you're super high in arena. So it's like when you want to do your arena battles, you're going to be fighting um, top tier players. If I had this, I don't think this guy has good runes on him. Uh, no, I'd probably use the Lynch like I do. So I'd probably use the Windwalker. And do you have the Lynch? Now, I think the Lynch was on his other account. I think he has two Lynches on his other account. He Unfortunately, he doesn't have a Lynch on this account. So I'd probably run Popo and this for now. Uh, no, you can run Spider Queen. Yeah, you can run Spider Queen and you can run Popo just to be safe. So instead of Mushi, until you get Mushi like really ruined and skilled up, you can run it like this. For now, until you have Mushi like skilled up. Once you get Mushi um, ruined up good and skilled up, I would use Mushi instead of um, Popo. And this team will probably one shot anything. But very good arena team as well. I'm just impressed on how many six stars he has as well, guys. He's got a lot of six stars. Very impressive. So this should just be a lesson to all you guys that you do not need to spend money on this game. You can do it just by spending time. All it takes is time. His popo must have a lot of hit percentage because he gets up a lot of bleeds. My popo does not get up anywhere near that amount of bleeds, guys. So his popo must be stacked with uh, hit percentage. So the, the, his arena team is excellent. Let's see where he is in the campaign. Campaign is done. You see, like he's did all the necessary, all the necessity things that he needs to do. I would show you guys a challenge, but I can't because he doesn't have any there. 
Let's see where he is in the Outer Worlds. Okay, Vaporland, he hasn't been doing this yet. I would definitely recommend, uh, Sylvia, I would definitely recommend doing some of this. I'm not saying go crazy, but do some of it. Do, like, go up to, like, level 50. It's very easy with the team that you have. You can easily get up to level 50, level 100, no problem. So I would, like, on your off time, like, when you're, like, half asleep watching TV, just run a couple of these. And you can easily get to like level 50, level 100, and you'll get a bunch of Void Stones, and that'll help you get more, you know, uh, Nat 5s in the future. Let's see if you're running. This is good. See, you're doing a little bit. You're not killing yourself, but you're doing just enough to collect some of the rewards. That's very good. So just do the same thing in the Vapor Dreamland. Just do the same thing you're doing in the Spire that you're doing in Vapor Dreamland, and it'll you'll be perfect. And you'll collect, up, you know, summons and stuff like that. So I would recommend doing that. I don't think you're doing anything here yet. I wouldn't if I was you. You're only a week into playing. This is probably more of a, I would say, mid to late game thing. So it's definitely good you're not focusing on that. But guys, still, I really am. I really am impressed with this account. This account just makes me so happy because it's free. I just love, you guys know, Spaceball, Spaceballs loves free-to-play friendly accounts. I think it's awesome. That's why I was so happy when he asked me if I could do an account. Well, I put in one of my... Um, in my descriptions now i put you know summons and account reviews which i would love to do for you guys now you know so if you guys want me to do it for you as well i'm willing to do it for you guys as well you know do an account review for you and go over your account and make it into a video same thing with summons so when he asked me to do it i was very excited because when he had told me he was only playing a week and he was you know grinding c10 i was actually pretty shocked i didn't believe it at first but when i you know when i opened it up and i ran the team I saw that he was actually doing it, and it was really cool to see. Um, I'm actually going to buy him something. Now, I know that he doesn't spend any money or probably doesn't want to spend any money on the account, but I'm still going to do it for him. Now, I think I'm going to buy him this one because it has a four star and it has five summons. I was going to buy him this one. I don't really, I'm not worried about the $10 or the um, $5. It's not that. I'm trying to buy him something that's going to give him the most progression. So maybe we can even go with... Because this has 18 summons, 1 skill cap. But I don't think he really cares too much about the summons. Let me see here. Yeah, he's got 7 summons. So I think we will buy him... I think we'll buy him this one. Yeah, I think we're going to buy him this one, guys, This because it's going to give him two three-star Ascension Cats, and it's going to give him a four-star, which is easier to make a five-star. Let me just look at the other ones here. Yeah, this is only giving him summons, and this is really only giving him summons. So maybe we'll buy him the Daily Summon Pack. No, we'll, do, we'll buy him this one. We'll buy him the Ascension Value Pack. I think that's I think that's would be not, it's good because he's he's free to play so I'm I want to make sure I'm giving him something that's gonna help him in his grind of making six stars in the future. So we're gonna buy him this pack after the video. After I buy it, I'll add something in the end showing you guys that I had bought it for him, so you guys know that I'm actually buying it for him. So we will buy him that. We will run giants, uh, giants. I I I gotta get so many more out of my head, guys. We will run C10 uh, one more time. To show you guys that it's not a fluke and he's been playing one week i checked his other account so i know for a fact that he's only been playing this account for eight days he's not lying it is the truth and i'll actually show you the growth plan right after this run just to prove it some more that he's only been grinding the growth plan and as i showed you in the shop he has not bought anything there is no growth plan packs bought there's no none of the five dollars none of the ten dollars he has spent nothing this is all campaign and C. Um, now it's a couple C10 runes, I noticed. Not a lot. It's really not a lot. It's mostly campaign runes. I mean, he's got a couple because I'm sure, like, you know, when you're grinding C10 constantly, of course you're going to upgrade your runes as you go, you know? Like, you'd be stupid not to. But really, from what I saw, most of it really truly was um, campaign green, blue runes. So I'll definitely give him credit for that. He, he's definitely smart at putting this team together. He used, you know, all the knowledge that he had, attacked down. Bleed, defense up, you know, speed up, speed down, all the necessities, and and defense down as well. And he's got a shield on this team as well, so I think he's got a, a set of uh, runes that give him a shield too, so that actually gets him through this stage here, because sometimes this uh, this mini boss, this golem, 
He'll actually one-shot one of your characters. It happens to me all the time. He one-shots my Succubus all the time. So that's why I actually changed my Succubus to a um, HP build. Because she kept getting one-shot in this stage. And that's why it makes it really hard early game to be able to use um, attackers. And the funny thing is you want to use attackers in uh, C10. Because eventually you're going to start like one-shotting C10. And you're going to get down to like a 40-second, 30-second run. But early game it does not work like that. You are working on uh, damage uh, based percentages. So you're, you want bleeds, poisons, and HP burns. And I think that's why he's tr uh, working on the two Abyss Lords. Because he's going to have a crazy speed team. Like he can use the droid, the windwalker, two Abyss Lords, and then the mummy. And that team is going to kill this dungeon. It's absolutely going to kill this dungeon. It's a really smart speed team. He actually got really lucky pulling the uh, double Abyss Lord. I haven't built... I'm still working on building mine. I've been super busy the past couple days. And now with doing this video, it's just putting my account on more of a hold. But after this video, I'm going to get back to grinding my account. I have... Um, we're going to be doing the Necromancer. We're going to be doing Sanctifies. i got so many videos coming up today and tomorrow to make up for, you know, this weekend. And not being able to put up too many videos for you guys. But, you know, guys, I try my best... It's just I feel like I'm always running into issues. I'm just glad I got this camera situation settled for for right now. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was, and I feel like I, I don't look as shiny as I was looking. At the other videos I was looking really pale, like my bathing videos. For, for some reason, it was making me look like super pale. Now that I do it through the OBS, I'm able to give myself a little bit of uh, texture and color, which is cool. I feel like it looks... Oh, that's a good room for you. Not the best room, but hit percentage resistance, uh, defense. And it's, and it's um, an agile room, which is really good. So, all right. So, before we go, guys, I'm going to collect this. And before we go, I just want to show you his growth plan. I believe this is the last stage of his growth plan. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Yeah, it's the last one because he's got 700. Now, you guys can see how many two stars you actually have to grind. It is insane save your two stars guys save them up save them put them in your storage and save them because you are going to need them as you can see here let's see where he is here yeah he's still got 15 left so he's still got to go like up to probably about 800 or 900 so he's still got a lot of grinding to do he's still got a lot of uh, rune grinding to do as well he's still got uh three four stars uh cats and he's still got 18 summons so he's still got quite a decent amount of grinding but you see where the grinding has got him in the game. It's an amazing account for eight days in. I can't wait to see where he is in two or three weeks from now. He's probably going to be <laughs> all the way past where I am. So it's it's very, very amazing to me. I'm going to actually go into another run as we do the outro here. Um, after I end this video, I'm going to buy him the pack. I'm going to throw something at the end of the video to show you guys that I'm buying him the pack. So you, you know that I bought him a $5 pack because, you know... Just so you guys know that I'm not, you know, I'm not just making this up and I'm going to tell him I'm going to buy him something. I'm not going to buy him something. So I am definitely going to buy him the $5 pack to appreciate what he did for me. Because you guys know I appreciate all of you guys. Um, all, anything else before we do the outro? Hmm, I don't think so. But, uh, you know, as always, guys, thank you guys for supporting me. I love every single one of you. You guys know that. We are growing little by little every day, and it means it absolutely means the world to me. It's like a dream come true, and I can never thank you know I can never thank you guys enough for that. You guys, you know, you really, really make me feel special, you know. But you know, if you guys like what you saw, you like what you see, hit the sub button if you haven't already. If you like the video, give it a like. If not, that's okay too. <laughs> it happens. But uh, but that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Spaceballs out. Peace. Hey guys, we're back for one second. Like I told you guys, I just wanted to show you guys. As you can see, we're all set. Purchase successful. I will go back here. I will show you. We bought him the $5 pack like I said I was going to. I'm going to leave it in his box for him. I'm going to leave it right here. There it is. The five summons. The four star cat. And the two three star cats. And before we go, Sylvia, I want to thank you again for letting me review your account. You're absolutely you're absolutely an amazing guy. I appreciate you. Thanks for going through the struggle with me today. I know it took us like three or four hours to get there, but you stuck with me and we got there. I love you. I appreciate you. I will see you guys in the next one. 
Spaceballs out. Peace.